loves and welcome back to my channel. Um, today is the video that a lot of people have been waiting for. This is my video where I talk about what happens at family day and on their graduation from boot camp. So let's get started. So my fiance was a Marine. I talk about this all the time. Um, so they have what's called a family day and then they have a whole separate day for graduation. So family day is the first day that you actually get to see your Marine. Um, graduation is the day that they get to come home with you. Yay! Um, so I'm going to talk about like what happens on family day, what happens on graduation, and the rules for each of those days. And then we'll get into some common questions like what should you wear um, and when they get to come home which I kind of just answered. <laughs> um, first off, I'm filming two videos today, so if you see another video where I'm like wearing the exact same thing and my hair is just as much of a mess as it is right now, quarantine doesn't have me that low, it's the same day. <laughs> so, let's get started. So, on family day, what happens? You wake up super early in the morning and they have a the night before, actually, they have like a parent's dinner and you get to meet all of their DIs. So for a lot of y'all that are new to boot camp, um, a lot of military servicemen call their instructors, if you will, for boot camp drill sergeants. Marines actually call them drill instructors. So when I say DI, I'm saying drill instructor. Um, so there's a dinner where you get to meet all of their DIs. So these are the people that have been training your new Marine their entire time throughout boot camp. They're also the ones that got to yell at them and build them into this new person that they are. So there's this dinner and no, you don't get to see your recruits during that dinner, just their drill instructors. Me and William's parents actually didn't go to that because, not to be like mean or anything, but that's not why we were there. <laughs> we wanted our new Marine, not the drill instructors. So, um, that's as much info on that as I have. Then, the next morning, they have a breakfast that they serve. Um, no, you still don't get to see your new Marine at that breakfast. The whole day, you're just amped up, you're ready, you're looking around, you're seeing other platoons marching by, and you're like, oh, maybe this is them. It's not. <laughs> so, then, after that breakfast, mine went to MCRD San Diego, so that's, yeah. Um, so, we went in to the... Oh, the theater hall and you sat down and you pretty much got the rules for the day for while you're on base so one of the DIs came out and they told you you know what they expect from you what happens if that doesn't happen uh, spoiler alert your new recruit or what your Marine gets in trouble for your actions and it's not funny. Some people thought it was funny until it was happening and then they were like, oh, I'm so sorry. Don't get your Marine in trouble. No, no, bad. So, um, they go over rules like you can't walk across the parade deck. That is like, I don't want to say religious. It's like, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. It is... A high honor to be able to walk across the parade deck and anyone who is not a marine does not get that honor don't walk on the parade deck so that happens and then after all of the rules you go outside and this is where you finally get to see your new marine no, you don't get to say hi to him or anything like that. You get to see them from a distance. So, this is called the Moto Run. So, they still have to PT on the morning of family day. So, I think 
it was a three mile run. Um, but they start and finish it with y'all watching them. So what happened was out in the middle of the parking lot, all the family members lined up and they came and like ran around you. It was kind of funny. Me and Carla, his mom, could not find him while they were running by. Like not for the life of us. We were looking, couldn't find him. Um, our Marine also lost like 48 pounds <laughs> while he was in boot camp. So it, I don't know, just couldn't find him. So once they finish that run, they have a little place where you circle around and you find their platoon number. So that's a tip that I have for y'all. If you're going to family day, make sure that you know what platoon number they are in. Um, it'll have it on their letters. So just make sure that you know that. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to see your Marine until they are released. So we're standing there and they had already ran. Um, we're standing there waiting for them and William's dad, Chris, actually saw him and so me and his mom Carla were in like perfect sight her head had to be right here and we were just you know staring at him because it's a really big thing when you finally get to see them again so that was like so awesome just got to say so that was awesome and then they go and they hygiene and get changed and then they go back to that exact place but while they're doing that you get to go back into the theater hall and they do like all the DIs get introduced um, and you pretty much get to see them do some I'm blanking out right now you pretty much get to see them do there's some really cool things. There's some videos. Um, you learn some history about the Marine Corps. It was really awesome. So then after that, you go outside and you can hear them before you see them. And I can't even explain to you how awesome that is because it just was awesome. So you hear them before you see them and then they come marching in and they line up right where their platoon number is. So you want to make sure that you're standing like right in front of the platoon number. And then they do some drill things and then they are released. And you get to go run and find your Marine and hug them. And it is so awesome. That first hug is, oh man. That's what you wait for. Yeah, so that was awesome. The rest of the day, they get to kind of show you around. There's some museums, uh, the different places to eat, the PX, all of that stuff. They get to show you around. Um, at San Diego, you can buy little corsages, corsages, wow, for your family to wear. William got three. <laughs> Um, his dad didn't really want to wear the corsage that goes on your wrist. It is pretty girly, so I think Christopher thought, or William, thought that he bought a boutonniere, but he didn't, so that was kind of funny. Um, so we had those. It was super sweet. You got to eat with them, but they do have to be back at a certain time, so... After you pretty much get all of this day to go and see them, they have to go back and it's really sad because you would think that it's not that hard but after not seeing them and you're finally with them after not seeing them that long, it's almost even harder to say goodbye. So be prepared for that. Some things that you should watch out for on um, family day. The only, except for when you first see them, the only PDA you are allowed to show is them escorting you around. And girlfriends, mama comes first, grandma comes before mama. 
So if they don't have anyone to escort them, he's not allowed to escort you. Because in the Marine Corps' eyes, you're only a girlfriend and, you know, a mom is forever, a grandma's forever, girlfriends aren't always forever. And I don't say that to hurt anyone's feelings. At the time, I was a girlfriend, so. So he actually started off escorting his mom, but his dad was there, so his dad could escort his mom, so then he got to escort me. Um, it was awesome. I look really yellow right now. I apologize. I should be getting a camera here soon, so my quality will go up. Yay! Um, so that, it, it's awesome. It really is awesome, but they're not allowed to kiss you, hug you for long amounts of time, or hold your hand. And they have to wear their covers outside, and every time that they go inside, they have to take them off. Standard rules, but you have to wait for them to put their cover back on, because if they, if DIC, your Marine, not wearing their cover, they're in big doo-doo. And it's not pleasant to watch. William didn't get in trouble, but other people did. Yeah. So, that, that's kind of how that works. Um, graduation, what happens? You wake up super early in the morning and you put on all your makeup because this is like the first day that you're gonna get to kiss your Marine. And it is, yeah. Graduation was awesome. So they have bleachers and you go and you sit on those bleachers and the first part of graduation ceremony that you'll see is the band comes in and it was really awesome to watch and all of their marching and I'm not gonna blow this for you because this really was a once in a lifetime opportunity. So fast forward to the end of the graduation ceremony. Um, my advice is don't be one of the ones that like runs and gets your Marine cause you will get trampled. Let's just throw that out there. You will get trampled. Um, so I kind of stayed back and waited and then we could see him and then, then when everyone was calmed down, then you can go run and get them. Um, and then my Marine really wanted to get that out of there as quickly as possible. So still hadn't kissed him, hadn't held his hand. He escorted me all the way over to our shuttle. We got on the shuttle, um, right after graduation, they can leave. Uh, my Marine got all of his baggage and stuff and set it behind the bleachers so that when graduation was over, he could get the hell out of there. Heck. Get the heck out of there. Yeah. Um, so, it kind of depends on your Marine. If they put their baggage out, you can go right afterwards. And most of the time, that's what they're going to want to do. Um... If they don't, you have to wait for them to go get their baggage out of their barracks and all of that, but then they will probably want to get out of there. Um, so we were on the shuttle, um, and he finally started holding my hand when uh, we sat down, but he still was very stiff. And you'll notice this, they will be super stiff and like, it almost looks like they're not breathing. Like, you're going to be like... It's okay, calm down. Um, but it's just how they were trained. So I want to say like a mile off base. It was so funny. And I remember this so vividly. But he just took a deep breath in, relaxed, and then his shoulders went down. And then he put his arm around me and he was able to kiss me. And he's like, hey, baby girl, and like all that stuff. And so then I was like, oh, there he is. Sigh of relief, you know. So, that was, that part right there was my favorite part. Um, after that, and once you all get to your hotel, that's pretty much it. Like, you can go do whatever afterwards. Um, William had told us in letters before that he didn't want to stay in California. He wanted to get out of there. Um, so, we had a flight the next morning back to Colorado. 
so that night we went, um, our hotel was walking distance from a really big mall. And so we went to the mall and we looked out there and it was kind of funny because shopping stores are so different from where we live to California. There was like Prada, so many other places. Whereas here we have the buckle, um, Victoria's Secret. I don't even think there was a Victoria's Secret in that mall. It was really weird. Yeah. So that was interesting. And then we got some food and we went back to the hotel. Um, me and William went and sat in the hot tub because he was still a little bit sore. So that was awesome. It's so pretty out there. So that was super, super exciting. I loved it. Um, so now into some of the commonly asked questions. Um, when, when do they get to leave with you? Sorry, I have my list. When do they get to leave with you? Automatically right after graduation. On family day, they cannot leave the base and they are restricted to where they go. Oh, do not walk on the grass. Don't do that. Mm -mm. Um, they'll leave with you right after graduation. And that's when they get to come home with you and they actually get to be themselves and yeah. Uh, what should you wear to family day and graduation? So on family day, my grandma made me, his mom and his dad, some super cute uh, t-shirts and um, on their t-shirts it said, you know, proud marine mom proud marine dad on mine it had the marine emblem and it said I have one of the few uh good men and so we wore shirts like that it had Magnuson on the back um yeah it was super sweet jeans wear good comfortable walking shoes I cannot tell you how many times I saw people who had like their cute sandals on or heels which I was like honey on the website it says you're gonna be walking a lot and you know they had to take them off and I was like wear tennis shoes if you don't want to wear like tennis shoes wear chacos converses vans something that's comfortable to walk in uh, the day of I don't know what shoes I wore the day of the graduate. Oh, I wore my tennis shoes, but I have like slip on all black tennis shoes. So they were still cute. Um, yeah, so definitely wear that. Bring a hair tie because I don't even have super long hair. My hair comes to like here and my neck was so hot. Yeah, bring a hair tie. Um, yeah. That's pretty much it for family day. I mean, you can wear makeup, but you're going to be, you're going to sweat because, well, it depends on where you're from. I'm from Colorado. It's dry and it's cold here. Like, let me just put this into perspective. When it's 40 degrees outside, we're like, ooh, shorts, tank tops, sandals, and everyone looks at us like we're weird and we're like, that's warm here. So when we were in California in December and we're all out there in shorts and flip-flops because it was still like 60 degrees and that's really warm here and everyone else had on heavy coats we were kind of like what so just saying to us it was warm I mean I guess if you live in like Arizona you might think it's cold I don't know so that's my advice for that graduation day is when you dress up. That's when you dress nice. Um, ladies, you can wear a dress, but no cleavage. It Don't have it be a short dress, cover your butt, no cocktail dresses, none of that. But also don't be like super fancy like, I mean, I don't think anyone would do this, but like a ball gown dress, don't do that. Like a cute summer dress. Um, for me, I got like, um, those flowy pants that have like the cinched belt. They're like high rise and they have a little tie belt. Um, they were peach colored and I wore a black shirt. Um, 
when I got it, it had cut out so you could see cleavage, so I found a scarf to cover that with. Um, definitely be modest. Even that day, though, you're going to be walking a whole lot, so I had on Chacos. I mean, cute walking sandals. So, 